Chapter 4, Flower Friends, Flower Needs. The morning dawned bright and sunny. The girls agreed to meet at the garden at 9 o'clock sharp. Chandra got there first, then Campbell, then Cora. They barely said hello before pushing the big gate. To the garden, their mouths fell open. The beautiful garden they left behind the day before was now so much bigger and more beautiful. Green grass had, had sprung up all around, and there was clover, lots of clover. And there were so many more flowers, tulips, roses, violets, and garanumies. And many more the girls didn't even know the names of. They were so fancy looking. The girls looked around in wonder. The air smelled so sweet. Birds chirped and calipers wrinkled. And the little golden bee buzzed. A bird bath stood at the far edge of the garden. Beyond that was a little pond. This was the most beautiful garden the girls had ever seen. Good morning, called out the amazing daisy. The girls turned to find the daisy swaying in the breeze looking brighter than ever. I don't know how you girls did it. All of the flower friends showed up overnight, Daisy said. I thought about you and your friends before I fell asleep, said Chandra. I dreamed about you and your friends, said Campbell. Lupe is light blue. Her name is pronounced Lupe. Oh, she's always cool and relaxed, and she's honest and fair. She was born in Texas and then moved to Minnesota. She spends all of her summers in Maine, and she has family all around the world. The tulip is red. She's courageous and strong. She's from Holland. Her family moved there a long time ago from a land called Iran. Gloria, the morning glory is purple. She's all about respect. She respects herself and others. She's from California and has family throughout South America and Asia. Jerry the Geranum is magenta. That's a kind of red, a purplish red. Jerry is about respect too. She always respects authority. She grew up in the mountains of Virginia and has family all around the world, especially in Greece. Then Daisy pointed to the ground. And this is Clover, she said. She gives our garden a nice green carpet of white flowers too. We'll give each flower I turn to speak. Lupe then turned to Daisy. Daisy, you know all of us so well. Why don't you leave the group? I'd be happy to, Daisy said. Jerry the Gary um, flashed her back flashed her black eyes. Well, you know, you know, she said slowly. I so miss my cousins from South Africa. They they smell so good, and I barely have a scent. What can I do to get a, get a whiff of lavender? The sweet smell of basil? Basil? I love basil, said Campbell. I love to eat bas basil with tomatoes. I could plant some basil for you. Maybe some sage, too. My little sister's name is Sage. She would love to smell real sage in this garden. She's almost four. In another year, she'll be old enough to be a Girl Scout Daisy. Well, we would love to meet little Sage, another sister for us, Violet said. Secret friends will really make our world a better place, said Rose. Sometimes even I get tired of smelling my sweet self. Everyone laughs, all the flowers and all the girls. Then Sydney stepped forward with all the new friends arriving, we're going to need some really good dirt. I mean, really good soil, she added. So I think we need more worms in this garden. Oh, Zinni, said Daisy. Thank you so much for thinking of our soil. You are so considerate and caring. We definitely need good soil to eat and grow. What do worms have to do with good soil, Campbell asked. Oh, just about everything, said Zinni. They all through it and keep it fresh. Hmm, said Campbell. I thought worms were just little wiggly things that came out after rain and hid under the doormat. Yes, worms are good for sure, but if it's not too much to ask, I want some more honeybees, said Clover. Not just for my little Clover friends, 
but to give honey, our bee, some new friends too. I'm afraid of having more bees in the garden, said Jerry. This means more stingers. But Clover and I also know what you are talking about. Forty uh, on bees. So I respect your wishes. And don't be afraid, chimed in. Blah. I have enough courage and strength, strength for all of us. I'll lend you some. And I can help you too, said Sunny. I am so tall that I can see the bees buzzing all around the garden. I will let you know when I see a bee buzzing towards you. Thank you, Sunny, said Jerry. You are always so friendly and helpful. I am more worried about bugs than bees, said Lupe. How about some pretty ladybugs to keep the ugly bugs away? Ugly bugs? You mean bugs that are bad for plants? Like those little green bugs that stick to tomato plants, Campbell asked. Yes, exactly. Those little bugs are called aphids. A-P-H-I-D-S. Sometimes they really do a number on me. Wow, you flower have a lot of needs, said Campbell. Chandra. I guess it takes a lot to keep a garden growing strong. Well, I know that growing basil is easy, said Campbell. I to have to think about how to get worms and bees and ladybugs, chimed in Chandra. After all, we're just little girls. Well, you all seem quite big and powerful to me, said Rosie. I'm sure you three can come up with a good plan. Maybe we can, said Cora. Maybe we just need some time. Let's go. Vamanos. Let's think about this over lunch. I'm hungry.